This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well, if you know anything about animation at all, then you heard about in betweening. Okay, in betweening is when you go from one key position to another and you have to fill in the gap in between with individual frames. Okay. So in Maya, there is a crease pencil tool that will allow you to do that, um, comparable to the way they did that with 2D animation. Okay, so let's uh, check it out. Here we go. Hey everybody, and welcome back. Well, today we're gonna do a pretty short tutorial, but nevertheless an important one. And what we're gonna talk about is the grease pencil tool, okay? Now, there are a couple of things that you can do with it. It's actually a very uh, traditional animation tool, but I'll first talk about the um, the non-animated part of it, okay? So let's say we have a scene where we got a cube and we need to point out to somebody uh, online as we are sharing our screen um, that one side has to be, I don't know, a different color or whatever, okay? What you can do is you can go up here to this little tool menu and you got this little pencil right there. And when you then click on this little square here, you have the option to choose from three different um, pens and they have a different thickness to them. So let's say I'll take this one and I can draw on my screen and say, okay, this is the side that I need. You can take a thicker marker and for example, draw a circle around it or even a thinner one and use it to write text, whatever. Okay, so that's that. Here you can change the color if you like. You can go to uh, whatever, blue, uh, like so or I don't know, what's that? Pink, I think, yep, yeah. there you go, okay? So that's what that's for. Now, if you want to erase that, you can use this eraser and get rid of that. And as you can see, it's not impacting my cube in any way. So that's kind of cool. All right, now this is the part that's not necessarily related to animation. Now, what's more important is the part that is related. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump to my selection tool get rid of that cube here and i'm going to jump to let's say my side view and what you see here is that i'm on frame one of my animation slider right there and we're going to talk about these two buttons okay so if i'm in frame one and i'm going to take one of these markers let's take that thick one and i'm trying to draw a ball here with my mouse which is kind of odd so i got that right now, let's say I want to uh, do some in-betweening. Now, I don't know if you're aware what that is, but um, what you basically do is you take uh, key positions. So let's say uh, a ball uh, just before it's bouncing up, for example, and then you will have in-between positions between, let's say, uh, frame one and, I don't know, frame 30, and that's your in-betweening. So basically in traditional animation, you would have a drawing on top of a drawing on top of a drawing, and that would allow you to look at, okay, how was my previous drawing and so forth. So uh, I'll show you, I'm on frame one. I'm just gonna drag this to let's say frame 10, like so. And as I start to draw here, you can see that my previous drawing is now a ghost image, okay? So if I now uh, go to frame 15, and let's say to frame 20, that's basically what you get, okay? So if I scrub back, you can see what's going on on my screen. now. Like I said, drawing is horrible, but hopefully you understand what it's for, okay? So that's all there's to it. So uh, you guys have fun with that. And if you've got any questions, as always, let me know. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.